All right. Next worst performer. This one's going to hurt you, I'm sure, a little bit. Although it sounds like it didn't hurt you too much because you're in plenty of championships and winning yeah. them. But Miles Sanders, 12 carries, 61 yards, no touchdowns, no targets. Under six half PPR points each of the last three weeks, all the playoffs, fantasy playoffs. He did not help a single person in the fantasy playoffs. No. This is just rough. Um, I think it helps show a little bit of the variance for Miles Sanders because he doesn't catch passes, right? Uh, he's got it. He's got to have things go his way because like, I mean, 12 for 61, like that's like, he didn't do anything wrong necessarily. Like this was a, this was a part of the offense. Gardner Richard wasn't really on. And because he doesn't really catch passes in that offense, he can have down weeks like this. Um, yeah. As someone who was really in on Miles Sanders this year, I'm, I mean, obviously it's going to depend on ADP, but mm-hmm. like, how do we feel about him going into next year? I mean, Miles Sanders is one of those players where like, I think the issue is, is like, I was all on him because he was seventh, eighth, ninth round pick, right? That was that yeah. was the whole reason where I was like, I knew his role might have not been the best, but at the same time, I was like, I think my call was that this Eagles offense is going to be nasty, so I want mm-hmm. to at least get him because I think things are going to go really well, right? Um, he's a free agent next year. Um, yeah. I think he's going to go wherever he wants, so I think it's it's going to be tough for me to to really say how that's going to look. Um, he's walking. He's going to sign with the team. So I mean, there, there's a world when he, he's like a third or fourth round pick, or he's like the the range of outcomes of where how we handle Miles Sanders. But I think he's at least proved that, um, you know, he can be like the one A in an offense. Like there's not really many bell cows out there, but I think he's, I think honestly, like I would love to see him sign somewhere where he gets more work than he's been getting on the Eagles. Like frankly, like I would love that, um, even if it's a worse team. Um, I think he's a good pass catcher. He's a good runner. He's got burst. I've always liked Miles Sanders. So um, it really just depends where he goes. I mean, that, that's yeah. really it is, too. I mean, it's a bummer he finished the season the way he did. Um, you know, nine points the last two, like nine, eight, nine points. Depends what you're scoring. I'm just pulling up some of the scoring here. But it's like, yeah. you know, not, he, he didn't he didn't do it for you, unfortunate. I mean, week 14 he crushed, and the last three have been bad. Um, definitely didn't help you win something. But, I mean, he, he I think he finishes the season like, you know, RB9, RB12, depending on where your um, scoring yeah. is. And I think with where he was drafted overall, that's a, that's a big dub. Yeah, it'll be interesting what happens in the offseason. I do think that the Eagles are going to let him test the market because they're a smart front office. They're Absolutely. probably not going to be willing Absolutely. to pay him enough money, more than, or enough that he thinks he's worth. And he'll you try Jalen Hurts. You have your best running back already. Like you're you're good to go. Like, yeah. and that's that's not a slight. Like he's a quarterback. Like he's a great he's a great passer, and he's got good wide receivers. But like, yeah, he, why, like you look at the Eagles' offense, and like a running back is like arguably like the least important position. Yeah, I do think though that he will end up in a good position because my assumption is is that he's going to walk right, and either he's going to find the money he wants somewhere that they're going to pay him to be like at least the one A for their backfield. Or he won't, and he'll return to the Eagles on a cheaper deal because he knows he can succeed there and have a good role. And he'll come back for cheaper and just be back in the same position he was. But I'm sure if he's back with the Eagles, his ADP is going to rise a good bit. Yeah. I mean, I'm with you on that. I mean, it's it's, it's going to definitely rise. It's not going to be an, an eighth, seventh, eighth, ninth round pick. He's going to get into that dead zone, probably likely going to avoid mm-hmm. him. I mean, that's basically yeah. how that's going to happen. <laughs> I already can see it now. Yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, our last worst performer, another running back, Ramondre Stevenson. Eight carries, 42 yards, no touchdowns, four targets, two catches, nine yards, no touchdowns on the day. Uh, boy, I mean, Damian Harris was back for this game, but he wasn't that much. Yeah, of a he only had like five or six game. touches or something so like that, yeah. This was just a, a pretty ugly game through and through for both sides. Uh, <sighs> do, we, do we actually take anything away from this for Ramondre? Is this just that, like... Uh, he can't succeed through Matt Patricia being that terrible all the time. Uh, like, what, what is it here for Ramondre? I mean, my thing with Ramondre is I think the, the market's a bit too high in him. I, they're calling him a top 12, like, dynasty running back. Like, I'm not there. Like, I don't think he's that great. And plus the whole Patriots running back thing. Like, the narrative itself is like, you know, the, so I'm not saying, like, don't draft a Patriots running back. Like, that's the narrative, right? But, mm-hmm. like, usually the ADPs, you know, that's baked in with knowing that we're not going to lead back. So, like, Traditionally, actually drafting Patriots running backs is fine, but 
they're just not the lead back. So we can't, I'm not going to prop Ramondre up into this like second or third round running back situation where he's going to be a bow cow next year, because like, I know that there's going to be a chance somebody else gets some work, even with Damian leaving, they might draft somebody. Um, and he really made his hay through the air, which we absolutely love to see. Right. I mean, mm-hmm. there was multiple games when he had five plus targets. I mean, shoot, when he was like crushing there in the middle of the season, he was, he was getting like seven, eight targets a game, but I don't know. I think they get another wide receiver in there. I'm just I'm not in on, on Ramondre Stevenson. I haven't been. Um, you know, it kind of bit me a little bit uh, because he definitely was like a reason why a lot of folks made the championship. Um, in PPR, he was an absolute stud, right? But Ooh. for me, it's just like I'm I'm likely going to be in a situation where somebody's because like I, th- I could easily see Damon Harris leaving. People are like Ramondre Stevenson, top twelve back, top ten back. We're taking him in the second or third round. I mean, maybe second's a little rich, but third round for sure. Um, so for me, I'm just I'm I'm. I'm out probably on Ramondre Stevenson with the cost. Um, I just could see those targets finding their way to different pass catchers next year. Um, he's, I think he's a, he's a good, I mean, I, I would say good, not great. He's a great, not elite running back in my opinion. So, mm-hmm. um, you know, wishing the best. Love to see Ramondre Stevenson do well, but it, he's likely going to be a fade moving forward for me. Yeah, I, I was pretty in on Ramondre coming into the year, despite not yeah, the cost him. was great. The cost was yeah. great this year, yeah. Yeah, despite not liking him as a player much, just because like the archetype of player he was, you know, bigger back, but also a decent receiver. Like he at least had this realm of possibilities where he starts to take over the backfield or an injury happens and he he is a three down workhorse, so which is what happened, and that was the reason to draft him, right? Um, yeah. And he has he has impressed me, I would say, this year. I thought he's looked better than he did as a rookie. He looked like a better running back than I thought he was. Mm-hmm. But as you kind of said with Miles Sanders, like my guess is he's going to end up being a dead zone running back next year, and I'm just not going to be in on it. Yeah, I mean, I think he might go above the dead zone, frankly. I mean, it depends if you count that as the second or third round. I definitely um, won't be in then. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's it's – I don't know, man. Like, I will draft Patriots running backs if the cost is right, but, like, yeah. if I'm paying Pass premium right. for a Pats running back, regardless, I'm just not here for it. So, um, you know, like, likely a guy I will not be seeing much of. I don't have much in Dynasty, so Ramondre is, is not a guy in the purview, and I will be passing. <laughs> well, let's get on to some more weekly notes from the week, of course. Starting off, we got Travis Etienne showing off his wheels. Now, before he got taken out of this game because the starters were removed in the second half because they had this game wrapped up. Really no reason for them to continue going. The game was meaningless itself. Like they didn't Yeah, it was meaningless to... before they even started. Yeah, but even they started. I was I was actually afraid that, that I mean yeah. like I was afraid that they weren't gonna play him, but then Peterson said he was gonna play him, so I started him. Um, but it's just one of those things where he did well, man. We love to see it. Yep. I didn't want to interrupt you, but it was just like they didn't even need to no, play. Okay. They didn't even need to play this game. This, this game yeah. had no consequence on their season. But then, you know, he took advantage, full advantage of this matchup. Nine carries, 108 yards, and a touchdown. Five targets, three catches, 32 yards. That touchdown came on a 62-yard touchdown run. The kind of explosive play that we got a good amount of early season for ETN. There was this, like, mm-hmm. stretch of weeks where, like, every week he hit a long one. Uh, not necessarily a touchdown, just a long play. And then he kind of, like you know, slow down for a good period of time. So, I I mean, yeah, it was the matchup to do this, but it was good to see ETN to, to get back on track like that and, like, give us a really good performance. Um, if they yeah. had played the whole game, if this was, like, a game they cared about, like, he was going to have a massive game. Yeah, I mean, he, he's the real deal. Um, I know it's kind of slandering Ramondre there a little bit, but um, yeah, ETN's the real deal. I, I, yeah. I, I had doubts about ETN. Um, I didn't love him as a prospect. I didn't necessarily um, think he was going to, you know, be a bell cow, which I was right about for a little bit there starting the season. <laughs> um, but, you know, Etienne is, is a bell cow. He's a real deal. He's got the speed. He's on an ascending offense. Um, coach knows what to do with him. So he's the kind of guy that, you know, I'm, he's a sec- He's a smash second round pick next year. Yeah, I, I 100%. We were kind of saying as a channel that out of the dead zone, he was one of the only running backs we were willing to take. It was basically him and Brees Hall. Those were the guys. We and they would have worked out. I mean, honestly, the injury. Yeah. I mean, that was the right, we made the right call there. I was taking Elijah Mitchell in, in the in the dead zone too. I yeah, mean, I'll I take the L there, too. but I think it's hard to take the complete L considering he was just simply injured the entire season. Yeah, but that's that's the kind of running back you want to take in the dead zone if you're going to a young, talented running back like that who has like a path to workhorse role. Mm-hmm. That's that's the kind of running back you can feel comfortable taking there. Yep. Oh. All right. Uh, next one. Cam Akers, at the end of the season run continues. Another good day for him. 19, 19 carries, 123 yards. One catch, 10 yards uh, on just the one target. No touchdowns, but still a pretty good day. Now, this is a good matchup. He played against the Chargers, who were like 
a serious run funnel. Yeah, they, they, they just I don't mean, they care. They have been for a while, yeah. But, I mean, he's become the, their workhorse, and he is playing fairly well. I, I'll, like, I'm, I'm not a can makers guy. I'm probably never going to be really in. But, like, I will give some credit to, like, I think he looks much better than he did at the beginning of the year. Yeah, he looks better. I still think he's fool's gold. I mean, mm-hmm. just like Judy, I'm not here for Ken Akers either. I mean, again, love to see him come back after the torn Achilles. He's been looking better, as you've said. Um, I think people are going to look at the end of the season and feel a sense of optimism and end up drafting him much higher than he should go. So, I mean, if Cam Akers, for example, is like in that Miles Sanders range next year, like eight, seventh, you know, eighth, ninth round, sure, I'll take some yeah. shots. But I, I have a feeling he's going to go more like yeah, I don't four think there's five. any chance that happens. Because um, Stafford's going to come back. And yeah. I'm like, oh, the offense the is going you know, to be coming back. To, yeah. Exactly. Like, it's like, all right, like, you know, they're not Super Bowl anymore, but like Stafford Cup, the offense is going to be good. They might add some offensive line pieces here and there because yeah. they need They'll that. add another old, dusty wide receiver, and people will convince themselves that they're a fourth round pick like Allen Robinson this year. And we're all, <laughs> we're all going to fall for it. The stories we tell ourselves. I'll, I'm sure I will fall for it because I did with Allen Robinson this I year. I certainly did not. I mean, <laughs> I certainly did not on that one. Dude's a dust. But hey, man, some people. I mean, you gotta take your shots. I mean, I, I've had, I've yeah. had my misses too. Yeah. 